The hunt for Namor continues. Will we get lucky? Will we actually pull Namor out of this batch? Stay tuned and find out. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So, as I said, the hunt for Namor continues. We're going to see if we can get lucky and pull Namor. Uh, but first, let's do some uh, quick tapping of some Grandmaster Crystals. All right, tap that. We're not going to take too much time. We can get a five star out of this. That would be great. We could actually get a Namor out of this, but more than likely... This is what you're going to see. Three stars. Um, but we could. We It is possible. Uh, we can get a five-star Nexus. And uh, Namor could be there. All right. Let me uh, grab a few of these this time. Get five of these. Spin that out a little bit. All right, that's enough. And let's see. I don't see anyone, any five-star that I would really be excited to get anyway but again a three star these used to be uh what i call my three star crystals but since i have gotten uh you know several times uh champions that were not three stars i don't call them that but it's still the most common uh that you're going to get out of these crystals but we're just trying to warm it up warm up that rng and uh maybe It'll help us. Maybe if we pay the toll here with nothing but three stars, we will get Namor. And if you believe that, I've got an RNG to sell you. All right, just keep going. Don't give me a three star Namor. Because that, yeah, y'all y'all know. I don't want to see no three star Namor. All right, let's spin this out a little bit here. And quick tap that. What do we got? Yeah, I see you. Three star Namor, keep going. All right, nothing but three stars. All right, so I think that's enough pain uh, for right now. Uh, we do have more that we could open, but we'll save that for another time. All right, let's... Uh, get into these you see we can open up five all right now let me pop open uh, where are you name more there we go and let's open this up and we're gonna just let that spin out now if you haven't been following me uh i do have a six star name more and controversially i took him up to rank three unawakened now i knew i was going to take him to rank three regardless the only question was when but i really didn't have anyone else that i wanted to take to rank three right now i'm waiting for some good you know prestige options and then boom there's namor now the fourth of july is coming and it is very possible that one of the offers for units will have a six star awakening gem in it Maybe even a, a generic. All right. Let's see what we got. First one. A Professor X. Okay. Definitely not a bad pull. I already have him, of course. Um, but definitely not a bad pull. Uh, if you watched me in the gauntlet, I brought him in there because he is a very powerful champion. Uh, very, very good counter for several fights in the gauntlet. However, just like all tools, they're only as good as you can use them. And I did not practice with him. I did not really know how to use him. Uh, since then, I've watched some videos. I was so close against that void. Uh, I had boosted up and I had gotten to a special three, but I did not get to a hundred of those charges. Had I been at a hundred of those charges, the fight would have probably been over at that point. I would have been able to spam uh, my specials. But 
I didn't know. And, you know, as many times people were like, you know, yeah, you got to do this, got to do this. If you don't know, then you, you're not really sure how and what you're supposed to be doing. All right. Hey, hey what? What? Ronan. Okay. Um, and I just basically was like, look, you know, I don't want to spend a whole lot of time learning what I need to do, you know, and so I just went ahead and uh, went with someone who was more familiar. But Professor X definitely is a powerful champion. And if I did have to go back in there now, I would do better uh, because I've actually played around with him a little bit more and I've watched videos to see how people were using him. All right, so, so far we have not gotten a Namor. I see him rolling around in there. Uh, I can't wait for 4th of July though, because if we don't get a five-star Namor, if we can awaken our six-star Namor, I won't be able to necessarily max him, but it will be very, very close. I have 125 generic six-star Sig Stones, plus however many I'll get you know, out of the uh, crystals. All right, what do we got? Strife. Now, some people like Strife. I don't really know. Um, okay, we awakened him. I, I guess that's nice. Um, I've seen people use him, ramp him up and, and, and take him into uh, the abyss, you know, if they don't have Aegon. But, you know, I, I he's at rank three and he's probably going to stay there. All right. But in any case, the hunt for Namor will continue until I can get the six star awaken and dump a ton of six stones into him. Uh, I will have, you know, maybe another 30 or so. So I'm guessing that if I can awaken my Namor, I should be able to get him to 150 uh, sig level right off the bat. Um, and that is who I want, you know, to uh, take up there because he actually benefits from a high sig. You want him maxed, in fact. All right, slowing down. What do we got? I saw two Namors. Why would they do that? I saw two Namors, I mean, very close together, and then they give you a Karnak. They ain't right. They ain't right for that. But anyway, um, not too, you know, terribly concerned. If we don't get a Namor, a five-star, we do have the six-star, and we will be able to awaken him. I still haven't even done all the content. Um, I think the Abyss, there's a six-star generic from the Abyss. So it's not a matter of if I awaken my Namor. It's just a matter of when, either on July 4, if they give me an offer and I'm able to awaken him, or some content, maybe I'll pull a six-star uh, mutant awakening gem, or one of the offers has a generic six-star awakening gem, something. But it's only a matter of time. You know, it's not, you know, I don't have to depend completely on RNG. All right, and I think a lot of people were thinking that I did. And so they were like, oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. All right, last one. What do we got? I don't even see him anymore. All right, so that's it. The hunt for Namor will continue. Uh, the five star. And again, oh, wait, whoa. Okay, we just max sigged our uh, Moon Knight. That was all natural, too. Maybe they'll give him a, 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 a you know, a rework or something like that. Um, but... Uh, like I was saying, uh, it's only a matter of time. It's not completely on RNG. Uh, so I will awaken him. And once I do, I'm not going to be hunting the five star anymore. Why, why do that? You know, um, yes, I can max sig the, uh, five star easily. You know, I could do it right now. And if we do pull him, I'll still do that. You know, having two Namors, not a bad deal. But the six star is going to help my prestige uh, as well as be useful to me. But I would probably end up using the five star SIG 200 over a six star that was like, say, 150, 175. If they're not SIG 200, then Namor has a little bit less utility. He still has his crazy damage. All right. But. That's going to do it, guys.
thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Yes, we didn't get Namor, but not too worried about that. Uh, we will eventually uh, get ourselves, you know, either a five-star Namor, probably after we already max sig the six-star. It is what it is. This is what happens. All right, so take care, and you all have a blessed day.